so we're getting ready to start our tour. We just got our tickets and we are so excited because our tour guide is an honest to goodness archaeologist who's helped with a lot of the excavation in the area. So here we go. the original steps looked like made of travertine. The steps we came up earlier were redone out of brick. would have been another set of very steep stairs for the spectators leading up to the seats. Now we're entering the Roman Forum. It's the same ticket that gets you into Palatine Hill and the Colosseum. So make sure that you don't lose that ticket. So here in the forum, behind this stone wall, is the location of the funeral pyre of Ju Julius Caesar. This is not where he died or where he was buried, it was where his body was burned. And just in front of it, in this big stone platform, is where Mark Antony made his funeral speech. This green door that you can see was originally at street level and over the decades they have excavated down to this current level. Many, many levels of history and archaeology and development here. So when this was first discovered all of this was underground. These are thought to be service rooms of a Roman house used as either a cellar or to house slaves. They were very tiny. Piazza de Venezia and 
and uh, you see Bonaparte on top of this building. That's because Napoleon Bonaparte's mother lived and died there in this building. In this palazzo here, this was a, a palace at one time, and there where you see the balcony with the flags was where Mussolini once made a speech during wartime. back of the Pantheon. Pantheon dates from 19 BC. It's actually 100 years older than the Colosseum. And the word Pantheon means all gods. This is a temple de dedicated to all the gods of Rome. up in this top of the ceiling is completely open. There's no glass. Um, it was built that way and it remains that way to this day. So when it rains, it can flood in here. It's raining really hard, but for the most part, there are several areas here in the floor that have pools that go directly to the sewer. So it will continue to drain. When you come Thank into you. the Pantheon, if you turn to the left and look for this mother and child statue, directly under it is the tomb of the famous painter Raphael. Well, we just finished our morning tour, which was um, the Colosseum, the Forum, and the Pantheon. Wow, we, that was an incredible tour, and I'm sure it's a good tour anytime, but we had, our guide was a archeologist, and his PhD was done in that area. Where he excavated. Yes, right. So he excavated in that area for his PhD, in the area of the forum, and um, there's still excavation going on there when he did it, but it was really, really cool because you could tell, obviously. <laughs> so that's what happens in these little narrow streets. Um, you have to watch for the traffic and move out of their way. Um, but anyway, he was great because the, the, the things he told us were second nature to him. You could tell it wasn't just that he had memorized stuff to do the tour. Um, he's a historian and an archeologist and it was really, really interesting. And, it, and he also told us some stuff um, having to do with the sites and the ruins from the perspective of an archeologist, such as the subway that's gonna come all the way up to the Colosseum. So that was really interesting. So now we're headed down this little narrow street and I see some more cars coming, um, but we're headed back towards Trevi Fountain. Coming around the corner here to Trevi. I had to come back because we had no coins the first night we were here. Um, and so I had to come and throw a coin in to ensure that I will come back to Rome. One of the things that I love that they do here is they infuse the new with the old instead of destroying something that was there. They just build right into it or around it. 